Welcome to this Operation Split video tutorial. This video provides a high-level overview of the Enhanced Event Browser in Operation Split Manager 2020-05. The Operation Split Manager 2020-05 Event Browser introduces several new features. Four main highlights will be introduced. It offers a new look and feel with improved usability for both the Active Event Browser and the Event Repository for Closed Events an improved event details pane, a new filter toolbar, and a direct toggle between the active event browser and the event repository. Let's have a closer look at the new look and feel with improved usability. The icons, for example, for severity, priority, and assignment have been redesigned and are now crisper. Additionally, if enough space is available, then values are also shown as text next to the icon as you can see here in the severity column. Furthermore, you can now pin important columns and thus these stay visible when you scroll to the right. To improve the readability of the listed event information, we have introduced a new view mode. This offers an increased row height and font. The footer has also been improved as it is now configurable via the event browser options. In the example, the priority counters are switched off. Now let's have a closer look at the improved event details. We recommend using the complete available vertical space for the event details component, as you can see here on our custom built operator console page. This has the advantage that all important event information is immediately visible to you. Such a layout is also used in the out of the box event perspective page. In the Event Details component, we have introduced several enhancements. First, it only shows event attributes that have values or that allow you to set and change values. Empty attributes are not shown, so the available space is best used. You see here on the left an example of event details that show instructions, an event type indicator and a user action. Whereas the event details on the right do not contain these fields but fields that show the cause event, because these are event details of a symptom event. You can hover over the cause event text to see the full event title or click it to open the cause event details in a separate window. Within the event details, you also have access to the related CI, the node CI and the source CI. And you can use this to quickly look at CI properties or to invoke runbooks or launch tools on those CIs. All these improvements have been made to give you quicker access to important information and tools you need for solving problems. When selecting multiple events, then the event details change and show those operations that make sense for multiple events. You can then change the lifecycle state, severity or priority of all selected events, or assign the events to a group or another operator. You can also relate those events from here and mark one of them as the cause. Mass operations are also possible via the context panel. Using the context panel, you can also launch other actions or tools on multiple events and their related CIs. Now let's have a look at the improved filter toolbar. It now shows only relevant information, only the selected filters. It offers an easy way to define filters via the plus button. Using it, you can select a view filter and an event filter and search within the events either using a phrase or a regular expression. By clicking on one or more of the icons in the footer, you can further refine the filter. The filter toolbar thus provides a much better visualization of applied filters than before, and you can quickly remove filters as well. Furthermore, those filters are kept when you want to look at the closed events to compare the active events with the past events. No additional configuration steps are required just switch to the event repository mode. You can then use the time filter to look at events, for example, of the last hour, the last day or the last week. You can even set it to unlimited, which was not possible before, to search within the complete event repository for matching events. Having the same browser experience in the active event browser and the event repository greatly simplifies working in both. To learn more about the different features of the Operation Split 2020-05 event browser, please see the Operation Split Manager online help in further video tutorials.